everyone! Today I am doing a book haul. It's been forever since we've done a book haul, but here we are doing a book haul. The first book haul in 2021 and I am so excited to talk about these books with you guys and share about them. So let's get started. So you're gonna notice a theme here. There's a little of a theme here going. I mean, I don't know if you've guessed yet from the title of the video, but we have a mystery thing going on here. I don't know why, just mystery is kind of just what's in right now for me. So the first book I'm gonna be talking about is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Yeah, I'm excited to read this. It sounds super good. It's about this woman, she inherits this house, and I don't know much about it. It just says um, she learns not only the identity of her birth parents so apparently she must be adopted but also that she is the sole inheritor of their abandoned mansion at the banks of the Thames. Everything in Libby's life is about to change but what she can't possibly know is that others have been waiting for this day as well. So my prediction either someone people have been waiting for this day as well like are there other people in her family that we just didn't know about like and then they were just like hey no, no, I want that. That's mine. Or based off the title, The Family Upstairs, I'm thinking a Jane Eyre type thing here. Like they're just some secret family just living up in the attic. I could be wrong on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it does sound really good. The Family Upstairs is a master bone-chilling suspense. Ooh. Brings us the can't-look-away story of three entangled families living in a house with the darkest of secrets. So maybe there's more people in this family than just her and her parents. Okay, there's probably more people. That's probably it. It's probably not the Jane Eyre theory. But yeah, I'm super excited to read it. I think it'll just give me those like creepy creepy vibes. So I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of excited. Like I love mysteries. I think I like them because just sometimes when you read fantasy books or science fiction books there's a goal but there's nothing like page turning gray unless if it's a really good story where i just love mysteries because i never know what's gonna happen next next book is also by lisa jewel is i found you let's look at the back in the wide sweat, the yeah, wind sweat, British seaside town of riding, ride, riding house bag. Words are hard, folks. Single mom, Alice Lakes, find a man sitting on the beach. Okay, so first of all, you find a man sitting on the beach, random beach, especially if it's your beach. Okay, it's one thing if you just like public beach, like that's not weird, but if it's your beach, that's weird sketchy get out he has no name and no idea how he got there okay okay i i think i can see where this is going meanwhile in a london suburb newlywed lily monroe grows anxious when her husband fails to return home from work but the police to soon discover even more disturbing news the man she married never truly exists okay so i'm thinking here like a fake identity maybe i don't know you already know the man on the beach is her husband i can guarantee you that right now that the man on the beach is her husband i'm guessing it's like maybe amnesia or maybe just a lost identity maybe started a new life at some point and changed name who knows oh 23 years earlier gray and christy Rook. see i don't get how it's like all these different families that's kind of confusing like i get the whole man sitting on the beach of the woman's beach house that i get i get the whole woman's husband thing but then we go even further so i'm guessing maybe this is his past and why he's not who he is so basically 23 years earlier gray and christy rose are teenagers on a summer holiday with their parents the annual trip to Ryington house by oh okay maybe this is is like the same house like kind of like a kate morton type thing where it's like there's always like some object that's always the store revolves around maybe it's the house it is on un uneventful until a young man starts paying extra attention to christy something about me very uncomfortable who is this man on the beat where is lily's missing husband and whatever have the man who made such a lasting impression on gray so i feel like they just kind of answered the question in the description like okay so this guy these people knew as teenagers is this woman's husband who was then found on this beach so i feel like this is gonna be kind of predictable but who knows I don't know it just it sounds good so maybe we'll be like oh wow didn't see it come but I don't know I just based off of the description I feel like this is gonna be kind of a predictable book next book is I share the peanut book and as the unwanted guest it's about these people they are in this resort it's like a romantic getaway type setting but they're snowed in and basically people start dying and this is give me very one by one by Ruth Ware vibe so I'm very interested to see how this is gonna be different both spacious old rooms with huge wood burning fireplaces as well as Dr 
wine cellar and ideal for curling up with good murder mystery. Hint, hint, wink, wink. So when a blizzard cuts off the electricity and all contact with the outside world, the guests sell in try to make the best of it. Soon though, one of the guests turn up dead. It looks like an accident, but when a second guest dies, the others start to panic. Within the snow in paradise, something or someone is picking off the guests one by one. Uh, this is literally the back of Ruth Ware's one by one book, okay? I'm just saying it probably is very different, but still I'm getting it. I'm showing you guys. One by one by Ruth Ware. Let's see. Getting snowed in in a luxurious rustic ski chalet high in the French Alps doesn't sound like the worst problem in the world, especially when there's a breathtaking view of full service chef and housekeeper, cozy fire keep you warm, blah, blah, blah. Then it goes on about how they're snowed in. The storm brewing inside the hotel is no match for the one brewing outside. However, a devastating avalanche leaves the group caught off access to the outside world. Even worse, one snooper had to make it back from slopes when avalanche hit. As hours pass through any sign of rescue panic, mounts and the place grows colder and the group dwindles further one by one. Just say it. But no, in all honesty, I am excited to read it. I think it's gonna be really good. Creepy mystery murder vibe. I don't know. Maybe it could be where one by one fell a little short for me. So maybe, maybe this is the book. Speaking of Ruth Ware, the next book we have, The Woman in Ta Blah, The Woman in Cabin Ten by Ruth Ware. And this one I am excited for because I really do like Ruth Ware's book and I know I just kind of digged on that one but I actually really do like her books I find them really fun to read very like ooh, what's gonna happen next her books always have like an interesting element to it that's different from most mysteries just like aspects you're like huh okay like something fun there's like oh it's like a little fun aspect to it like different like I like how she always includes like news articles and it's kind of just like ooh, like makes it seem real but this one the woman cabin 10 I heard really good reviews about so I'm excited to read it there was no back to it so I can't really explain what it is I mean I'm guessing it's about a woman who lived in cabin 10 and probably she goes missing or something or she's creepy I don't know but that's kind of what I'm getting just from the title I didn't really look it up on Goodreads or something just because I do like this author's book so this is kind of an instant buy author for me so I'm just gonna go in not knowing what it's about because I think that's always kind of the most fun way to read books at times so yeah next book then she was gone by Lisa Jewell let's see what it says okay so Ellie Mack was a perfect daughter and then she was gone 10 years after Ellie's disappearance her mother Laurel Mack is trying to put her life back together when she meets an unexpectedly charming man in the cafe. Stranger danger, folks. Before she knows it, she meets Floyd's daughter and his youngest Poppy. Take Laurel's breath away. Because the eerily preoccupied Poppy is the preoccupied. I did not pronounce that word right. I'm sorry. Poppy is the spitting image of Ellie. Okay, so we already know, like, okay, is he a kidnapper? I'm, I'm assuming he's a kidnapper. And now the unanswered question she tries so hard to put to rest begins haunting Laurel's new. Where did she go? Did she run away home? Blah, blah. And basically goes like, what might have happened so I feel like based off they want you to think is that this man stole daughter and that could very well be I really do not have any prediction maybe it is maybe who knows I want to know how old the daughter is I think if I knew how old the daughter is then maybe I could very well be able to be like ah that's probably what happened because it's kind of hard to place it but yeah this sounds good I think it'll be good I've heard mixed reviews on it but I think it will still be able to be good and I almost just read the epilogue that's awkward I don't have too many predictions about it but I am excited to read I think it's gonna be an interesting book I don't think it's gonna be mystery on the edge of my seat but it's gonna be a ooh what happened let's untangle the knot here type book next it's the creepiest title of a book and that is watching you by Lisa Jewell again super creepy vibe here we go and we have a lot of Lisa Jewels in here I've actually never really read her books before I'm actually kind of excited to get into them more Melville Heights is one of the nicest neighborhoods in Bristol England it's not usually a sort of place where people are murdered in their own kitchen interesting so is it an inside job I'm guessing oh. but it's a sort of place where everyone has secrets and prying eyes lurk behind every crime so my first reaction to that is I think maybe like really upscale place where people gossip a lot just because it says eyes lurk behind every curtain so maybe flicky type area so who has been murdered and who would have wanted one of their neighbors dead I'm getting very like Polish, Polish, wow, okay. Words are hard. Um, so I'm getting vibes about this as maybe like probably some upscale neighborhood, like very like clicky, very like gossip, like I'll be your friend to your face, but I'm gonna talk bad about you behind your back type thing. So that's kind of the vibe I'm getting with this book. Watching you is very creepy. Is this like someone with binoculars just looking in windows? I don't know. But yeah, I'm excited to read this book. I think, I think it'll be kind of, I think it'll give me creepy vibes. I don't think it'll be me scary vibes, but creepy vibes. 
Then the last mystery book on this list is The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the cover. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, it's a silhouette of someone's face, and I get that. It, I can see they have red hair, so maybe that's supposed to, like, look like fire in a way. Like, like everything went crazy. I don't know. Um, it says Annie and Marco Conti Conte. Conte. Seems to have it all, a loving relationship, a wonderful home, and their beautiful baby Cora. But one night when they are at a dinner party next door, a terrible crime is committed. Suspicion immediately falls on the parents, but the truth is much more complicated, so I'm guessing something happens to the kid. What follows is a nerve wracking unraveling of a family. Detective Rosbach, I'm sorry, knows that the panic couple is hiding something inside the current house, so maybe they're just who they th people think they are. I don't know. Annie and Marco both soon discover that other is keeping secret secrets they've kept for years. The shocking truth will leave you breathless. So obviously these people just aren't who they say they are and neither one of them really knows who they are turns out maybe there's just like a bunch of things in the past that happened that they kind of buried and I don't know but I don't know what to think about this book to be honest I don't really have an opinion of this book it sounds good it sounds like it'll be interesting but I don't think it's gonna be on the parents just because I feel like it's too obvious if you're like oh and the suspicion immediately falls on parents well obviously yes but I feel like there's gonna be other things I think especially if they, these people have a past it's gonna be something about there might be a person from from their past that committed this crime and not like them themselves but someone from their past that they tried to forget that they tried to like repress and it's like we're forgetting about it they kept a secret I think it's something like that I don't know if I'm right maybe I am maybe I'm not but that's kind of what I'm thinking and then the last book in this book haul and this is not a mystery but I thought I'd just haul it because I actually do I correct that I have two more books but they're not mysteries but honestly I do want to still talk about them so here we go and that is a Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Moss. Okay, I haven't read this book and I know back in my February to be read, I said I was gonna read it, but you know, look at the size of a book, okay? Like, I am not gonna be able to read that. Okay, I am a slow reader. I'm gonna admit it and I've admitted it before. I am a slow reader. This is probably gonna take me a good month and a half to read. Unless if I just sat down and read a whole book for a whole week and that's all I did, maybe then, but still. Still. Yeah, I'm excited to read this. I just, like I said, I've said before is when I found out the author's writing a book, another book in the series, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I want this. And the day is here. Today's the day. It is here. I'm excited to read it. It's about Nesta. Okay. And I'm not really sure how I feel about that because I like her character, but I'm not sure if it was a character I want to read about. Okay. I, I, I just really like my OGs. Okay. I like my OGs and I just wanted to read about them, but so many predictions. I definitely want to wait till after I read the next book I'm going to talk about just because then I don't feel rushed about this because I already know I probably won't make a video about it but I'm not sure. Let's get on to the last and final book. Okay, last book. This book, I I love the first book. I'm a little scared for the second book because like I said, I've read books by this author before, no offense, but I've read books by this author before where the first book was really good. The second book was kind of disappointing. So I'm kind of nervous, but that book is Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. Obviously I don't have it yet because I am filming this on March 1st and it's not coming out to March 2nd, but I already have it pre-ordered. So technically I already own it. Okay, so I am gonna talk about a little bit but yes I'm so excited to read this uh James Haredale is in it Will Haredale is in it it's just I loved these characters so much and I know next year is gonna be the last book and oh my gosh I'm just I'm like I'm I'm ready to be hurt again okay <laughs> but I'm excited to read it I love the covers the covers here of this series has been top notch look at these covers I'm I'm guessing it's season theme I don't know like this is fall chain of iron like kind of very a spring vibe with the bees and stuff so I'm kind of excited to see like with the other one maybe winter or summer I don't know and anything could happen here but I do really love these covers I do think they're pretty I do think they're very different than what we've seen before in the series but yeah I'm excited because especially because I find the second books are always some kind of some of the most fun books because they're like the filler books and I don't mean filler as in just like useless stuff but we're not to the first book where you have to set up all the information and we're not to the last book where we have to close all the storylines so the second book is gonna be fun and I can't wait 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 and oh my gosh guys did I mention I cannot wait those are the books I recently got that I'm gonna read I'm so excited to read them have you bought any books recently that you were excited to read. Thank you for watching. Bye!